should I say? Test microphone, microphone test. It's beautiful. Testing on the microphone test. Test. This is as loud as I'm going to talk. This is as quiet as I'm going to talk. I love it. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Idea number one. Orphans. Fly. Because they have the power of flight. They are going over the ocean to escape from the tropical island where some sandworm ate their parents. Which is why they're orphans. They clash with the Concorde that's taking the French president to Zimbabwe. And they have to gather the wreckage and hide all the evidence so that when they get back to their home place... They are not wanted for the murder of a French whatever. Then all the orphans as a group fall in love with the French president's daughter who miraculously survived the crash. But it turns out she already has a boyfriend so they have to get back and then they just kind of have to like accept that. And then they write a song about it and become famous musicians. Good? Beautiful. You can Beautiful. jump in at any time. Okay, I'll jump in. Okay, idea number two. A moose. It's a moose, but he's a moose you don't know about. He's like a sly moose. He's like a moose with a motive, you know? He's like a dark moose. Charismatic secret shady moose is wanted. Wanted by the mob. Makes because sense. Because of a, a bag but, of... No, we don't know why. We don't know why. That's, That's like part of his mystique. That's what He's running. There's a lot of, like, action He's shots. wanted by the mob and the FBI. And the FBI. But neither knows why each one wants him. But somebody does know, and she's a woman. Yes. A woman. A woman. Goose. A woman goose. <laughs> and that's what makes it edgy is the inner species nature of the whole thing. It's a goose and a moose. And, and they're forbidden. And the big climax happens on a volcano. So we got the FBI and the helicopter circling. We've got the goose on one side of the volcano, the moose on the other side. They're running towards each other, but on the edge, it's very like, it's very difficult. And then they die. And then they fall in, just like in Overboard when they fall into the water. And it turns out, it was all for a birthday party. Mm. Okay, idea number three. Mm -hmm. The first Coca-Cola vending machine mm -hmm. is also a magic flying carpet. <laughs> Idea number four. It turns out inside Mount Rushmore mm -hmm. is a lamp that can grant wishes. Up what? To, up these to are things. horrible ideas. <laughs> I think these are great ideas. Every one of them is Every a Every one of these ideas is a really good idea. And then Hugh Grant comes. Mm -hmm. He has to scale the mountain. He doesn't know which presidents are which because mm -hmm. he's British. Yeah, that's the and fish then, out of water. Yeah. <laughs> and then he it's supposed to be in Roosevelt, but he thinks it's, it's not both Roosevelt's. It's just Teddy, right? On There's Rushmore? two Roosevelt's? No. You mean his wife? FDR and Teddy were two of the presidents. Really? <laughs> I should have known that. Okay, we got Lincoln, Washington, Jackson, Roosevelt, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so it's supposed to be in Roosevelt, but he thinks it's he thinks Roosevelt is Washington. Mm -hmm. So goes into Washington with mm -hmm. his dynamite and his mm -hmm. Yosemite Sam. Turns out inside that one is the negative lamp, Grant Wisher. Oh, it takes that wishes. fucking kills your wish. Fucking makes the opposite. It's like from, yeah. It's so negative. he wishes not to have the scandal with the tranny prostitute or whatever. Was it a tranny? We're talking Hugh Grant. So he wishes not to have a tranny scandal. I thought that was Eddie Murphy. Was it tranny? Maybe it wasn't a tranny. Maybe it was just a regular prostitute. Why would you, I mean, you're going to go to a prostitute. May as well be a tranny. Point is, a million tranny prostitutes then appear at that moment and the entire British press corps. 
That's a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> but Hugh Grant, he's so affable, he just handles it. Yeah. He was, like, very whining and, like... I find that hard to believe about Hugh Grant. Point is, Hugh Grant, in the movie, he can be. And then okay. Julia Roberts comes, and she has a dick. What? <laughs> <laughs> can we show that? Oh, absolutely. If there's anything you can show Julia Roberts... With a dick. Incredible penis. Coming out of her nose. Maybe it's a very, very small penis. Because, like, I think that'd be less obvious. Like, Julia Roberts, who's, like, a little... I mean, it's not, like, it's not a micro penis, but it's just, like... Just, like, a small, like, a flat, like, a flaccid. A four-inch flaccid... Just a regular class. nothing. Yeah. Not a big deal. Just a dick you don't get excited about. Okay, idea number... Six. Six? Oh, my turn. Okay, it's Christmas Eve. 1997. It's a period piece. And you can tell this because the Bare Naked Ladies cover of God Rest You Merry Gentlemen featuring Sarah McLaughlin is playing. And oh. I know. It, it puts you right in 1997. <laughs> People gather around the Christmas tree. It's, it's any town in USA. Waiting for Santa Claus to come down the chimney. The kids got, you know, the whole deal. The milk, the cookies, the family, the dad, the stockings, the mom, you know, John Q. Suburban. I can see it. I'm painting a picture with my words. Yeah, for sure. It's a strike of midnight. They're counting down. Three, two, one. Santa Claus doesn't come down for the chimney. For Christmas? <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know, I mean, Santa Claus, maybe You're they went to... You're supposed to be in bed way before midnight or Santa doesn't come. These these guys are cool. Okay. They like party. No, so they talk to him at the mall and it's like he sends a letter to Santa. It's midnight, Santa Claus doesn't show up. Right. A different guy shows up. Oh. And he's like not very likable. Is it the German uh, fucking... Santa Claus? <laughs> no, like the other, the bad guy, Sankt Ruprecht or whatever. Sa Sande Ruprecht shows up. Is that it? Yeah, and he's there just to cause trouble. He doesn't have any presence. Is he like, kind of like a punk rock elf? Yeah, he's like a punk rock. He's got a facial tattoo. Yeah. And just it just says like triple X. Yeah. Um, and this is before the Vin Diesel had made it. Cool. Can we go back in time and put this out before Vin Diesel? Genuinely, we, you and I, travel back in time okay. to release this gem to the public. Oh, before, we call it Paul Spock Rubrik's Unhappy Christmas Eve <laughs> yeah. featuring Triple X. Copyright. <laughs> Can we pause? Yeah. I have to pee now. Okay, go pee.